Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about message box in Tinkter. So without declaring a new screen, you can have fun. But its functionalities are limited. So let's check what I'm actually talking about. Basically, I will declare buttons and the commands would contain functions that call the message boxes. We can have many types of message box. As per our requirement, we can have the show info, show warning, show error, ask question, ask OK cancel, ask yes, no, ask retry cancel. These all are functions available in the message box module. Now we'll check them one by one. Let's get started. So I'll write from Tinkter import star and also from Tinkter import message box. You need to import this message box module separately and then I'll get the window. I'll write win equals tk brackets and I'll also give in a title. I'll write win dot title. Let the title be message box. And then I'll also specify the size of the screen. So I'll write win dot geometry 400 cross 400 in double quotes. So that's how you can specify the size of the screen. This is a new thing. Then we will define the functions one by one. They would be given as command for each button. So first of all, I'll use the show info function. So I'll write def show info brackets and I'll write message box dot show info so the first string would be the heading of the message box so I'll write important because this is just an information and for the message I'll write this might take a minute okay then similarly, I'll define some more functions. I'll write something for show error. So I'll write def error and message box dot show error. The title would be error and the message would be the specified path does not exist because this is an error you can give in any messages as per requirement then I'll have something for ask question I'll write def q message box dot ask question and I'll write title h and the message would be r you 13 years old or above question mark so in ask question function you'll have two options to select from yes or no and accordingly you can select then i'll define for ask ok or cancel i'll write def cancel you can name the function anything it's just what function you call then I'll write message box dot ask OK cancel and let the title be delete and message be are you sure you want to delete question mark then I'll have the function yes no so I'll write def yes no brackets and I'll call the ask yes no function write message box dot ask yes no and let the title be confirmation and the message be are you sure you want to proceed so ask yes no also gives you two options to select from yes and no so you might think that ask yes no and ask question functions are same but they're not the ask question returns yes or no string but the ask yes no function returns a boolean true for yes and false for no 
Okay, then you also have the ask retry cancel, so I'll define a function for that too. I'll write def retry. Now for this function, you will have two options to select from, retry and cancel. Now if you click on retry, this ask retry cancel function returns true. And if you click on cancel, it returns false. So just to give you an idea of what is happening, I'll declare a variable for this function which will store this boolean. So I'll have r equals message box dot ask retry cancel. Let the title be failure and the message let it be do you want to try again question mark and if r is true if r then i'll print retry i'll simply print retry on the console and else i'll print cancel cool then i'll move on to the next function i'll have this show warning function so i'll write def warn and message box dot show warning let the title be warning in caps and let the message be this might lead to malfunction of the app okay now i have all the functions for all the buttons. Now I'll declare the buttons one by one and assign them these functions. We have seven functions, so we'll have seven buttons. So let's start. B1 equals button. And where do I want my button? I want it on the window, so I'll write win. Text equals information because first I'll have the show info command so command equals show info background let it be sky blue foreground let it be white active background let it be light green then I'll place this button I'll write b1 dot place and x equals 100 y equals 100 so i'll simply give in a coordinate and similarly i'll have all my buttons so i'll just copy this and edit the next ones so for b2 i want it on the screen so i'll write win as master then text would be error, command would also be error, and the rest let it be same. I'll change the coordinates to 100, 200, right, 200, okay. Then in B3, I'll have when text let it be retry. Command would be retry. I have my retry function. And then let the rest be same. Let the decoration be same for the button. And I'll have the coordinates as 100, 300. So y would be 300. Then again, I'll have b4. I'll change the text to question. Command would be que. And I'll change the coordinates to 200, 100. So x would be 200, y would be 100. Then b5, let it be cancel. Command will be cancel. And the rest would be same. Then the x coordinate, let it be 200, y, let it be 200. 
then I'll have P6 text let it be yes no yes or no and command let it be yes no coordinates will be 200 comma 300 okay then b7 let the text be warning command will be warned coordinates will be 300 and 100 okay and i'll call in the main loop i'll write win dot main loop i hope there is no confusion the text for buttons is what would be displayed on the buttons the command for the buttons are user defined functions which contain the message box widget functions okay so you should be very clear about all this now let's run this and see the buttons and check out the message boxes how they are popped up on the screen so i have my screen and i can see the buttons as defined and i'll click on each one of them i get a sound too so this important is the title as defined and this might take a minute so this i symbol is there and i have to click on ok because that's the only available option and i have question and there is a question mark symbol i have two options so there are differences in each function and for warning i have an exclamation mark symbol then for cancel i have a question mark again but the options are different i have ok cancel then for retry there is retry cancel and when i click on retry i can see retry printed on the terminal because that's how i defined it now that's pretty much it about the message box widget thank you